What's good, everybody? Welcome back to Told by T. Today, I'm giving y'all a brand new reaction to kicking it with B. This is And I Said What I Said. I don't want to waste too much time. Let's get right into the video. But first, like, comment, subscribe, show the channel some love. I'm trying to hit that 5K. Let's get into it. Yo, what's good, man? Y'all know it's Big B and not the little one. And I'm back with another video, man. So y'all already know what to do, man. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe, and turn your notifications on. Because guess what? I'm back in these YouTube streets, man. But I ain't want to do it. But I felt like I had to come and make a quick little video and address some shit that I just been seeing in these motherfucking YouTube streets, man. First, I just gotta say, y'all niggas is sensitive. <laughs> y'all is sensitive. Y'all is different. And I don't care. Y'all is weird. You know what I'm saying? The YouTube streets have been weird lately. I don't want to give the situation too much energy. I don't want to give it energy at all. And I think we all know what's going on by now. So it, just show your favorite reactors some love. Like, it is what it is. I'm going to keep doing what I want to do. If I want to react, I'm going to react. If I don't want to react, I'm not going to react. And that's just the way that's going to go. Nobody's about to scare me off from talking about what I want to talk about. Um, for me, it's more about maintaining the platform that I have built and making sure that everyone is still enjoying it and can still have fun with it. You know what I mean? So... In the spirit of that, while we on the subject, I think I'm gonna have to start muting people, muting, muting the trolls, muting the multiple channels, muting the multiple profile type stuff that's going on right now. If you have a differing opinion, that does not mean that you're automatically just gonna, I'm gonna mute you. You know, I'm not censoring anything over here, but I am gonna have to start muting the problematic profiles. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully, I understand that just so that I can start. Responding to people the way that I used to because I like connecting with y'all in the comment section, but that's about as much energy as I'm about to give that situation. I mean, uh, people that's weird know what I'm talking about, but they know we all know. <laughs> the shit y'all is saying about me, <laughs> y'all make me giggle fool. Like, it is, y'all make me giggle fool. Like, I don't know what impression have I've given to y'all to think that I'm so in love. To think that I'm being stupid, to think that I'm getting played. Like, I just felt like I had to come in and motherfucking address some shit because apparently, after this little truth for drink video I had dropped, y'all just been going in on me, fool. And then this other video. I don't really think it's the truth for drink, honestly. People have been having something to say about B since the beginning, you know, like she's too young. Why is she so aggressive? This is toxic masculinity. She's abusive. She's an alcoholic. Like, people have been saying wild shit about B since she got with Lily. You know what I mean? Like, I did a video on that months ago. It was like, is is Lily's new boo toxic or whatever? And a lot of people was in the comment section, you know, sounding off. They had their opinions. And what y'all say on the internet, what I say on the internet, what anybody says on the internet, it stays there forever in some sh way, shape, or form. If you make a comment on somebody's page, you might delete your comment, but guess what? The creator already got the email. You know, they got the email already with your comment, and it's not gone. Nothing on the internet is gone. So those assumptions and stuff like that can really affect the person, even if, even if you can be the most evolved person, you know, really be in tune with yourself, really no peace and still having somebody on the internet say stuff about you constantly that's not true can still be triggering whether or not you give it energy you know you practice on ignoring it and over time you just kind of learn to tune it out but it can still be very triggering but there's been that a drop y'all just been going in on me and i've just been sitting back and on me i don't really get mixed in all that bullshit but man it's like one thing about me but i'm not gonna let y'all put all this shit up under my name fool Especially all this sad shit. Like, come on. Do I look like the type of nigga that I'ma just be like, let a motherfucker holler out one thing and I'ma be on the back end like, no, 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 be with me. Oh, no, nah, love me. No, pick me. I'm not doing none of that. Just like that person don't want no relationship or no love, I don't either. Just like that person just got out of a bad relationship, I did too. 
it's dudes is they tell their story. They have a vibe, they have a connection, and I think the viewers just need to accept it for what it is. They don't have to be in love, they don't have to get married, there doesn't have to be a B lead channel. Like just they're chilling, like let them chill. I don't I'm I I ain't no YouTuber, so I don't get over here and tell y'all all the personal shit, but y'all gotta stop what y'all doing, man, when it comes to me. I I'm not being stupid. Don't feel bad for me, because what y'all feeling bad for me for? I told y'all since day one, I know my motherfucking place. Y'all take a few videos. People and take shit and run with it. YouTube. Shit supposed to be funny. Shit ain't supposed to be serious, but obviously y'all take everything on this motherfucking app serious, bro. And that shit is weird to me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, there's people who leave paragraphs in your, in your comment section like, oh, Lily is using B and... B is too young. She's being manipulated. Why did y'all not have that energy when Grams was dating Lily? Because the age gap is real similar. The age gap is real similar. But y'all have a problem now that it's B and Lily. Like, people love to pick and choose when something is wrong, when something is manipulative, when something is toxic. Okay. Hold everybody to the, the same standard. The really like she caught feelings from caught feelings but understand the shit is mutual you know what i'm saying the difference is what y'all saying is y'all think i'm in love y'all think that i'm getting played or somebody's hurting my feelings or somebody's gonna hurt my feelings one thing about me bro i know how to control my emotions i can have feelings for somebody but that don't necessarily mean i'm oh, be you you me. a little bit of a hothead but okay you feel what i'm saying like I got no love and I got heartless on me for I don't want no love right now. I'm not built to give no love to no motherfucking body, but just because y'all see me being a good person. Mm -hmm. And having Lily's back, just because she has Lily's back and she has, you know, rode for her this far and showed up for her this far, doesn't mean that she had over heels and being used. It means that she cares about Lily enough to be there for her in those situations. Like, some of y'all really make me think that y'all don't have no friends, y'all don't have nobody in your corner, y'all don't have anybody to rely on. Because if y'all can't understand that energy, and y'all might not do, be doing it for the people in y'all lives either, because you, if you can't understand that energy, then it's like, I don't know what to tell you. Like, <laughs> that's just regular shit. Like, if, my, if you arguing with my friend in public, I'm going to have my friends back. Like, this is regular stuff right here. First, it started with the fucking Valentine's Day shit. Come on, man. I was just being a, a, a good person. Yeah, I'm in the talking stage. Yeah. Yeah. It makes and sense. there's courtship too. Like you, if you like someone, you're having sex with someone and you want them to be a Valentine. That does not mean that you're sprung, you're thirsty, you're, you're a simp or anything like that. You know, that's how you show people that you care. The Valentine's Day setup was very sweet and that's what it was. Sweet. It doesn't mean that she's being manipulated or Lily is taking advantage of her. Like we give a relationship vibes, but on the back end, nigga, both of us know it ain't none of that. You know what I'm saying? Y'all only know what is put out on the social media. We can't control what y'all do. What I will say is this. I'm sorry to keep having to pause the video like routinely because we only four minutes in. What I will say is this. You cannot expect to put yourself in a situation in the public eye and expect for people not to have an opinion. People are going to talk shit regardless, B. You just got to push through it. You got to keep going because people take, like you said, people take it really seriously. People have invested themselves so much into this Lily and Graham situation that you seem like the villain no matter what. So they're always going to have something to say. If it wasn't this, it, I guarantee you it would be something else. So you just have to stay true to you, authentic to you, and keep pushing forward. Not let it affect whatever you and Lily have. Run with it, but all these random ass videos that's being made, all these assumptions that's being yeah, made. Yeah, we already right know. Yeah, we already know. Gotta stop that, man. Shit, I'm crazy. Really, <laughs> I am happy with myself. This shit is really wild. Like it. <laughs> this situation has gone so left. Like never, never. 
ever when I started making these reactions did I think that my channel would be targeted the way that it has. It's wild. Like people are really taking this situation as if it's some type of life or death situation. And none of us are have any stake in this. I make videos about it, sure. I can make videos about something else. We talk about it in the comment section. We could talk about something else. Like this situation, just like everything else, will pass. So to see someone so invested and so just making an ass of themselves in this in these internet streets, like you know what I'm saying? And I just can't sit back and let y'all motherfucking drag my name like that. For I, I refuse, I refuse, like <laughs> I refuse to go out like that, fool. Like, come on, y'all. Come on, man. This ain't nothing new, bro. I've been hollering at the same shit since day one. I know my place. I know where I stand. I don't want no relationship. I am single. Like, y'all gotta chill, fool. Like, y'all literally, like, this shit is old. You know what I'm saying? This whole situation is old. This shit is dumb at this point. It's old, it's dumb, it's boring now. I know if I don't give a fuck about the whole situation no more, I know half y'all don't give a fuck about the situation no more, no more, but we can't control what motherfuckers put out onto the social media. It's true. Like I would love to react to other content. As a content creator, I'm gonna keep it buck with y'all. It's a it's about balancing what your audience wants to see and what you wanna make. So am I tired of making videos on grams? Yeah. A little bit like but i know my audience wants to see that my audience wants to give my opinion on that so i balance it out i'll make that video about grams and then i'll do six other ones not about grams you know what i mean so that we can have that balance still talk about the hot topic but still get into some other couples some other channels do some other things but it is being dragged because it's like two weeks ago no one was talking about this after the whole egg in the car situation nobody was talking about this it was dead and now you have people who just, they need it to drag on because they need the situation to fuel whatever they got going on. So they just dragging this out. That's why I had took myself out of it, but y'all gotta stop putting me in the mix of all this shit, fool. I do not want my name involved with it's too late for that. parties. It's too late for that because as soon as you got with Lily, that's what was gonna happen. As soon as you got with Lily, that's what was gonna happen. You can't. I hate that phrase of have your cake and eat it too, but you, you can't put your, you can't be lay up next to Lily and not want to be involved with the situation. People are going to come for you regardless. Like I said, if it's not one thing, it's another. That's just the way the internet works. When it come to that, you know what I'm saying? I hear what she's saying. It it's just not going to happen. Just keep it like, yeah, B, you know, therefore, you know, what's the name? B, you know what I'm saying? Just keep it cute, bro. Don't put me in no shit where it's like, Y'all feel bad for me or y'all feeling some type of way about Charlotte. Don't do that. Don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just be sitting back watching these videos like, damn, y'all really be investing y'all time in making up y'all own shit. I'm going to just keep it straight front with y'all. Y'all make up y'all own shit. I mean, I, don't get me wrong. I mean, shit that's getting put on out there, I can see why y'all would say what y'all say. But come on, man. Just keep it at what's putting out there and don't try to add y'all two cents and make it sound good because honestly, everybody on this motherfucking YouTube channel, y'all can flip a story and make the shit sound so believable for, you know what I'm saying? It's like you don't know what the fuck to believe on YouTube and that's cool, you know what I'm saying? I'm not knocking nobody down, I'm not telling y'all what to do, but all I'm saying is y'all need to keep it cute when it come to me, fool. I do not like this <laughs> shit, fool. Like, I'm not going out like that. I ain't never went out like this, and I'm not finna start. Do you hear what I'm saying, fool? And you, okay. just, you just need to stick to that. Stick to be. Just be you, and don't let the comments, don't let the trolls get to you. But y'all gotta keep it cute, fool. Listen, I feel that y'all fuck with me, and y'all fuck with whoever y'all fuck with, but to the motherfuckers that fuck with me, and y'all stay in y'all opinions, I'm just here to let y'all know, listen here, man, I'm good. <laughs> I've been good, you feel, you feel me? Ain't, ain't, ain't nobody feelings getting hurt, especially not mine, you know what I'm saying? 
It's like, you, you, you know, only motherfucking feelings that can get hurt is a motherfucker who don't know how to control. You know what I'm saying? I know how to control my feelings. You know what I'm saying? So there's no way I could possibly get hurt. There's no way I am going out bad. There is no way a motherfucker can make me feel any type of way or make me look any type of way. As long as you're honest about a situation, regardless of whatever the situation shit might be, the two people can walk away whole. Only I can make myself look any type of way or feel, you know what I'm saying? Only I can do it. Not nobody else, not child, not them, not nobody. You feel what I'm saying? So I feel like I'm explaining myself, but I don't feel like I'm explaining myself because it's like I'm clearing some shit up when it comes to my night. I don't know about y'all, but me, my respect, my dignity, I'm going to die behind that shit, fool. I'm going to speak my mind behind that shit, fool, and I just got to keep doing y'all don't like what y'all doing to me. <laughs> And that's why I said certain stuff can just be triggering. Like, if somebody's saying something about you that you know in your heart is not to be true, it can be very triggering. And you want to confront the situation. You want to correct that narrative. You want people to know that you, you know, the truth. It's like, it ain't funny no more, man. The shit was funny at first. I'm not even going to lie to you. The shit was funny at first. It ain't funny, funny no more. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, <laughs> I searched my motherfucking name. Like, this, this crazy to me. Now, I have I have a search. Like, all I got to type is it, and my whole name pop up on YouTube. That's, that's for one, that's crazy to me. You know what I'm saying? And then the shit that pop up. And you know what? Use it to your advantage. Like you have a whole, you have a whole business. Use that shit to your advantage. If people want to keep talking about you, use it to your advantage. I'm sure plenty of people would love to get their hair done by its daddy B. You might as well make it work for you. Make the best of it. Out of that shit, I don't like that. And I, I, I ain't saying that I didn't put myself in some of those situations. You know, I, I did what I did, but. I did what I did, defending myself, always. It's always been defending B. Not defending nobody, not trying to get in no drama. Y'all motherfuckers talking about I like drama. Do it look like I like drama? <laughs> I don't even like people. I don't like talking to people. I don't like really like socializing with people. So tell me how I'm going to like drama. I state real shit. I tell real shit. You know what I'm saying? So anything I put out onto the internet is always been protecting me in my motherfucking name before shit get out there and get twisted and turned. You know what I'm saying? So don't ever gather y'all motherfucking words up and say be like drama. <laughs> I don't like this shit. This shit is stupid if you ask me. The whole thing is stupid. I'm saying it. It's stupid. I say this shit every fucking day because every fucking day is some new shit y'all DMing me on Instagram. I don't care. I never care. This shit is stupid. This shit is dumb as fuck. This shit is born to me now. Like, I literally don't give a fuck about none of this shit. So I need y'all to understand, stop putting me in that shit. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't put me in that shit no more. That's you know, not going to stop. Like, you mention me, mention me. Mention shit that I do on TikToks. Mention my, you know what I'm Unfortunately, saying? unfortunately, the stuff that you do solo is going to be overshadowed by the situation for now. Eventually, you know, all this shit going to die down. Like I said, this too shall pass. And people will start to remember B for whatever, for what you do. You know, the TikToks, whatever you want them to remember you as. But for right now, you're Lily's new boo. And that's, that's just what it is. And that's why I was saying make it work for you. You know what I'm saying? The new ventures I'm doing, like... To be in that bullshit. Now, I don't, don't want to be in that bullshit, bro. Never did. And I don't want to be in it. So keep it cute when it comes to people. Yeah. You know, I don't say too much. I don't do too much. But I just got tired for every day. Y'all sending me shit like, oh, I feel bad for you. Oh, you stupid. I, I told you. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Because shut the fuck up. Because Don't give it no energy. None of that shit is it. When you give it energy, it just fuels it to continue. Like, what is being told on YouTube definitely ain't what's going on in the back end, fool. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
Stop playing with me, fool. Stop playing with my top like that, y'all. Don't play with my name like that, okay? Y'all can talk among y'all self, but when y'all get to making videos, I mean, like, dead-ass, long-ass videos and stating y'all opinions and mentioning shit. Oh, Lord. And then y'all want to talk about how, <laughs> how I fucking used to cheat. Who ain't cheated before? Everyone's <laughs> cheated. Yes, I see. Everyone's cheated. And when I say everyone, I mean a lot of people. Obviously, I don't mean every single person on earth. Um, everyone's cheated. I have a past. Everyone has a past. It just is what it is. We don't all, we don't come out of the womb making the best decisions. I, it's humbling when y'all get in the comments and y'all say, you know, T, I love hearing your thoughts on this situation. I love, you know, your thought process and the way that y'all think about that. What did you think about that situation? Those, I cannot tell you enough how much I appreciate those comments. And that's why I always say, I appreciate you. I appreciate this. It is not just something that I comment to comment. I really do mean it because I did not come out of the womb knowing this stuff. I've been hurt. I have caused hurt. And that is what taught me these lessons. You know what I mean? And that's why when I say, when I talk about Lily and Grams, yeah, that's the situation at hand, but I'm not talking about Lily and Grams. I'm talking about the things that we find ourselves in in daily life, the situations that we find ourselves in, the types of people that we encounter in real fucking life. You know what I'm saying? I did not learn all these lessons overnight. It took time. It took self-awareness. It took confronting situations that I did not want to confront. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's just, it's humbling and I appreciate it, but... Remember that everyone is still learning, still growing. I'm still learning and growing. Just keep that in mind and give give people grace. Allow people grace. And I said again, yes, I used to be a cheater. And I clearly said that shit changed when I got my first heart broken. I don't cheat no more. I ain't got time to cheat no more. What's the point of cheating? But yes, I did do. If you don't allow, we don't allow each other grace, we leave no room for each other to change and learn from our mistakes. And I'm pretty sure if you make a mistake, you would like the opportunity to change, right? You would like the opportunity for your worst moment not to be what someone focuses on. So allow grace to other people. And then y'all over here keep saying that woo 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 she slept with her nigga friend, her nigga girl. Shut the fuck up. Just shut up. Because y'all don't even know the whole fucking story. You know what I'm saying? What if that motherfucker slept with mine and y'all got payback and did the same thing? Like, y'all don't take shit too serious. When did you two get so fucking sensitive? I thought you two was a place where you make motherfuckers laugh or watch fucking cat joke. videos. Y'all literally take everything to fucking heart. Like, that is. But I just had to come on her and say some shit because ever since that fucking truth, and that second two for drink drop, y'all just been going crazy. <laughs> like, that is y'all been going crazy. No, I'm like that. Don't play with my name like that, y'all. I don't know how many times I got to say it, but don't play with my name. Like, obviously, y'all not getting the drift when I write y'all shit or whatever. And then what I post on Instagram, y'all, stop taking social media to heart, fool. Just because I post something don't mean I'm going through it. It can possibly, it just means I understand it, I feel it, or I've been through it. Y'all, y'all are too sensitive to me, man. Like, you know, like and it really bothers me when people chop it up to kids because these are adults, okay? I see adults in my comment section who just can't get the point. I see adults sending me DMs because they just can't let situations go. So I'm sure it's the same for her tenfold. You know, like I'm not getting crazy DMs. I may get one, two, here, there, especially if a video does like really well, but it's adults. Like stop chopping it up to, oh, it be kids. No, it be adults. I don't like that. I don't like that. Y'all gotta keep, keep it cute, man. Calm down. Keep it cute. Grown ass saying. people, 40s, mid 40s. Like like I just had to go and let y'all know that I gotta stop. Don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, honey, don't do that. She's 
Lisa, don't do me. Don't do me. When y'all say shit, the shit don't make sense. It's like, I done already said this. The proof has already been put out, but yet. It don't matter. Y'all go twist it. A beautiful lie will travel farther than the ugly truth. If you say something that fits the narrative that people already have, they'll take just that little bit of what you said, half a sentence of what you said, and say, see, this is what such and such said. This is what such and such said. Ignoring that the whole sentence would have painted a better picture of the situation. They just want to pick and choose. Turn that shit anyway, man. But hey, I'm not knocking nobody. Hustle, man, you got to get, you got to get it by all means, but no. Don't, don't, don't do my night like that, okay? It's like, ain't nobody stringing me along. Ain't nobody playing with my emotions, playing with me. It's like, I had plenty opportunities to go. I mean, I'm not gonna sit up and lie. I had plenty chances to leave, but I chose not to because I generally fuck with her and she fuck with me, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, that's the thing. Like, y'all don't know what the fuck we talk about or what we go through outside of YouTube, man. I chose to still be in this girl life and she still chose for me to still be around because like, I'm a friend at the end of the day. And it makes me think that some of y'all don't have no friends. Like, <laughs> yeah, why can't y'all understand that people can just bond? So I, I guess y'all get, y'all get twisted when I be playing around like, um, marriage, I'm manifesting it or just the little shit I be saying, because I be playing, I'm playful. I have the times I be drunk. I'm very playful and quote unquote childish when I'm drunk. I like to play around, but it's like none of that shit is for real. You know what I'm saying? So stop with the fucking assumptions and doing all this other shit, fool. Like just let a motherfucker do what they gotta do and have a motherfucker solid and generally wanna fuck with them. Fuck with them. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I don't like that. I don't like, I honestly don't like how nobody is getting treated in this situation. But, you know, everybody play their part about how shit get treated when it comes to them. But it's just like, y'all got to chill. You know what I'm saying? Just chill for y'all. You got to chill with that shit, fool. It's like, that's my nigga. <laughs> that's my nigga. What we do on the back end is our business. You know what I'm saying? Y'all ain't got to know every fucking thing. I guess to keep y'all fucking guessing, but at the end of the fucking day, if I fuck with you, I fuck with you, regardless about anything. Like, you know what I'm saying? I think it also needs to be said, and some of y'all hate it when I say this, um, especially like newer viewers who just happen upon the videos. When you're a content creator, what you think is internet appropriate changes. Um, your threshold of like appropriateness or what you're willing to put out there for some people, for some people changes in certain videos with me, for example, because I can only speak on myself. There's certain parts of my apartment that you will never see. There's certain, you know, areas of my neighborhood that you will never see. There's certain stuff that you will never see me doing because there's a level of comfort of me putting myself out there on the internet because people will criticize everything. So, yeah. People have to remember that content creators think differently about what needs to be put on the internet. Because people always love to say, oh, why is this on the internet? Why are you dragging this out on the internet? Why? Da, 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 da. Because they're content creators and there's just a certain level of self-awareness that comes with creating content. You know what people are gonna click. You know what people are gonna watch. And sometimes, like I said, balance what the viewer wants to see with what you want to create. You got to mesh it. And sometimes that means doing something or titling something a certain way, putting something in the thumbnail, certain shit like that. So stop playing my top like that, boo. A narrative is always going to be created. I make my own decisions. I am a grown-ass woman. I make my own decisions, which means... I've been told myself, I've been mold myself into how I have to deal with this shit. Because, you know, when you do shit like what we do on the internet, yes, it's possible to fucking catch feelings or feelings get involved. But you got to be strong enough to know how to deal with that shit. And that's me. You know what I'm saying? That's me. 
why would I want to be? I ain't, I ain't talking down on nobody, but why would I want to be with a motherfucker when they going through some shit like that, y'all? You know what I'm saying? Y'all gotta really think sometimes, fool. Like, what, what's being put on the internet is all fun and games, fool. But on the back end, trust me, real deal shit is going on. Real deal shit. Conversations is actually happening. So before y'all get to saying what y'all saying and doing what y'all doing, y'all gotta really sit back and think like, hold on now. Because trust me, trust me, <laughs> that's just the YouTube shit. You know what I'm saying? But yo. Stop saying motherfuckers stringing me around, bro. Ain't no goddamn yo yo. <laughs> Talk about that. What the fuck? It's just, that niggas is crazy. It's just. <laughs> Y'all really make me giggle, fool. It's like, I'm a real ass person. I don't like talking down on nobody. Don't get me wrong. If I ever had to speak down on the motherfuckers, could they bring it out of me? But at the end of the day, no. I don't talk about people, I don't like to talk about people, you know what I'm saying? But this whole situation is really blown me, fool. Like, no cap, it's really blown the fuck out of me. But like I said, everybody played their own parts. And I'm talking about myself too, like, you know what I'm saying? I keep it real with myself. Before you can keep it real with anybody, you gotta keep it real with yourself at the end of the day. And that's something I'm very big on. So it's just like, yes, I've done what I've done, I've said what I've said, but I also remember that shit was brought up out of me, you know what I'm saying? I never just, oh shit, I want to whoop the whoop, let me go ahead and say whoop the whoop, let me do whoop the whoop. No, it was never the case. You know, when motherfuckers play with your name, nigga, at a point in time, you got to play back. And that's, at that time, that was getting done. But now it's like, okay, all fun and games is over with now. I, don't, I, don't, I ain't trying to play that game no more. You know what I'm saying? So I just really... I ain't coming on here on no soft ass shit. I'm just coming to the YouTube world on some real ass shit. Like, stop playing with my top like that. You know what I'm saying? Just stop playing. Y'all might not like what she's saying, but she's being real and she's being authentic to herself. And that's the people we ask people to do all the time. Oh, be yourself. Don't be nobody else, right? Yeah. <laughs> I don't care. I ain't. I don't care what the fuck y'all say. Y'all continue to talk about me, but make sure y'all come correct when y'all mention me. Cause like I said in the be in the beginning, I cannot stop y'all from doing what y'all do. But I just need y'all to come correct when y'all speaking on me. Okay. I'm very smart. I'm very mature for my motherfucking age. And if this video have not shown y'all, I don't know what the fuck else to tell y'all. But besides me drinking, oh yeah, that's a motherfucking thing. Y'all talking about I'm a drunk. I'm turning a motherfucker into a drunk. Nigga. Nigga. I've already addressed that in that old video where I was talking about Lily and B. Lily is a grown ass woman. B cannot make her drink more than she want to drink. She's not holding her mouth open and pouring liquor into it. Y'all, y'all really have to stop that. Y'all love Lily, but then y'all also don't respect her autonomy. It's very weird. And when I say y'all, I hope you mean I don't mean you know my regular viewers, my my viewers in general, because most of y'all y'all got common sense, but. Some people's a little out there, you know what I mean? Nobody's pouring liquor into Lily's mouth. Nobody, Lily's mouth. Nobody can drink, her, make her drink more than she wants to drink. Maybe I had a little bit too much to drink. Um, nobody can make her pour, uh, drink more than she wants to drink, right? That's what I'm saying. But, nigga, I barely drink now. And if I drink, I drink on the weekends. And I drink in the motherfucking house. At the end of the day, I'm 25 years old. I don't know what the fuck y'all doing with y'all boring ass life, but I'm going to sip on me some. Get some wine, but I'm going to drink me some motherfucking liquor. I work seven days a motherfucking week. I, I I drink to motherfucking reward myself. Like, I don't really like, I'm not an active person. I mean, where I'm at, it really ain't that too much shit to do. I don't like being in the mix, but I'm going to get me a bottle to reward my hard working week. So stop calling me a motherfucking drunk. Stop saying I'm turning a motherfucking to a drunk because that's not it. That's not it. That's not fucking it. You know what I'm saying? Y'all just really got to chill. Like, I ain't saying y'all are being bullies, but y'all, y'all on the line of it. You know what I'm saying? Y'all just stay in y'all opinions. Don't get me wrong. Like I said, y'all go off of what y'all see. But <laughs> I'm here. This is what I'm here for. I'm here to correct all that shit, fool. So I really just hope this video don't go over a lot of people's head and understand that, hey, bro. <laughs> hey, bro. Y'all funny. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong, you know what I'm saying? I don't watch all the 
videos. I'm, I'm the type of nigga I read the comments. You know, I, I no, see, that's what you fucked up. You got to stop reading the comments. You got to stop reading the comments. You got to stop. I read my comments because I'm a reactor, so it's a different thing. You know what I mean? Like, I love engaging with y'all in the comment section, reading what y'all have to say, even when y'all disagree with me. I don't care. Um, but, yeah, you, B, you got to stop reading the comments. Stay away from negativity. I've been staying away from all the negative shit on the YouTube. Like, I really ain't been on the YouTube app itself. But it's just certain shit that leads me to go check out certain shit. And lately, it's been certain shit that's been getting led to me. And it's just like, no, ma'am. And like I said, something led me to sit my motherfucking ass down and make this motherfucking video. Because it's like, I don't like that shit, bro. <laughs> I don't know about y'all. But it, I'm, it, I'm gonna die by that. And when they say I'm gonna die by that dick, I'm gonna die by that name. B, big B, and not the little. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna sit me wine with my drunk ass, with my alcoholic ass. <laughs> Y'all wild, y'all be oh, yeah, wild when y'all talk about like, B, bro. bro y'all be like, saying don't change for no motherfucking body. Like I said once before in a whole nother video, I never changed for nobody. Y'all may have took me saying that she wanted me to change some shit, so that what made me change it. No, I don't have that many friends. I don't have that many people in my corner to let me know, hey, this shit is bad for you. Hey, this shit is not good for you. Hey, you are becoming an alcoholic. Or, hey, you're a fucking alcoholic. You know, I was telling myself that, but if I'm if I'm already drinking like that and smoking like that, yes, I can tell myself I need to quit, but it's not that easy, y'all. It's not that easy after you done already done it for so long and trying to talk yourself out of doing it. So when a real-ass motherfucker come in your corner and spit some real shit to you and make you see the bigger picture of some shit, it make you sit back like, okay, I've already said I need to stop. This motherfucker had made it more clear of why I need to stop. So, hey, let me just go on the motherfucking stop. Y'all are weird. I'll never change for nobody. Never have, never did. But I'm not finna let y'all sit up here and say just because I stopped a couple bad habits, I did it for a motherfucker just to be with them. No. Yes, I was kicking it with the motherfucker and out of respect, they didn't want that in their face. So out of respect, I want to be your friend, so I got to respect that around you, y'all. I didn't just immediately stop. I, it was baby steps. I didn't do it around her. And so outside of me not doing around her, it just made it more easy for me not to do it at all. And like y'all weird. You know what I'm saying? Y'all just, when it come to people, y'all pick a side and y'all just want to turn shit around and make it an ugly picture of some motherfucking knowing that where it's common sense. You know what I'm saying? I know it's millions of motherfuckers out there that had some shit they wanted to change and they had a real motherfucker in their corner. Like, yeah, you do need to change that shit. And I did. You know what I'm saying? With my ex. I picked that shit up with my ex. She was buying that shit for me. She was okay with that shit. She made sure I had a whole pint of crown vanilla every day when I woke up. And had another one every day before I went to sleep. You see it's, you see the difference of what I'm saying, bro? So it's just like I, I got me a real motherfucker in my corner. and made me quit a habit I already wanted to quit. Remember, I already wanted to do it. Just fucking with her made it a little bit easier for me to do it, y'all. So, I hope, man, I just hope I clear that. I mean, I clear, I hope I'm clearing up a lot of shit. A lot Regardless of what you say, people gonna say what they want, though. Honestly. Because there's gonna be people who ignore this whole video because it doesn't fit their narrative of what they think happened. What they think is going on. This negativity shit because I'm not a negative person. I'm not a mean person. I'm not a negative person, and I just don't like a lot of negative shit attached to my name because it it, it somehow gets into my motherfucking energy, and I don't like that shit, fool. So yeah, but but on the other side, 
I am coming back to YouTube. It, I'm doing a different narrative. Like I'm finna do truth for drinks with different people. I'm, I'm finna have different stuff. I actually think that she should do hair. Like if y'all see 360 Jeezy, he do like the haircuts and stuff, but he put his own personality into it and that shit popped. I think hers would be dope if she did locks. Like stay out of the stay out of that regardless like and just do locks i think that would be really dope because i watched 360 gz and i'm never gonna pick up a pair of clippers in my life it's coming on on screw me i'm gonna have different stills coming on the channel we're gonna be talking about all type of shit i'm just gonna change my whole youtube narrative because like i said you know i got into the youtube world it was cute it was fun but the blog and shit that ain't me yeah, and I was saying that. I was like, she don't really seem comfortable with it. It's because obviously y'all see where the fuck they get y'all. Mm -hmm. I ain't going out like that. So we finna turn this whole motherfucking YouTube up, man. Like, I got some shit coming from y'all. Y'all saw I said I'm getting these intros ready. I'm getting, I'm just getting everything ready for y'all, y'all. So it's just like. Keep it cute, man. I ain't trying to be, I ain't trying to come nasty at no motherfucking body. I ain't trying to tell y'all what the fuck to do, but I am finna tell you how I feel about this shit. And I hope y'all motherfuckers respect how I'm coming to y'all because it's just like, I don't like that. You know what I'm saying? I don't like it. But it's gonna go over somebody. Oh, that's, this gonna go over some people's head. And for, these, for them type of people, it's not meant for y'all. But the motherfuckers that we here, y'all feel me, bro. So it's just like, Come on now. Do I look like that type of nigga, man? Like, all I gotta say is, do I look like that type of nigga, man? It's big being not the little man. I'm not finna play with y'all folks. Stop playing with my top like that, fool. Sorry. But I, it got to me because it's just like, I'm not one of them. And I'm not finna let y'all make me one of them. All right, I'm gone. Like, comment, subscribe. Oh. Enjoy today's reaction. Make sure y'all show me some love. I need y'all to run the comment section up. Y'all already know what's going on. When the comment section gets sent to spam, and I've already touched on this, when so many of the comments are getting flagged as spam, it really does cause YouTube to crack down on how they promote that video. So there's videos that I know should be doing better than they are, and that's not me being big headed. That's just me knowing the traffic that I can get. And then those videos sit, so it's like, it is what it is. But like, comment, subscribe, show the channel some love. I'll check y'all out in the next one.